All right, today I'm showing you how to make sound bridges in Premiere Pro. So I've got my three clips from Nepal lined up here, and if I play through them, you'll see how the sound cuts quite abruptly between each shot. So we can improve how the sound sort of transitions between these shots using sound bridges. And the first one, it's a very nice easy one, you can do this with the constant power crossfade effect. So I come over to the effects tab in my project window here, select audio transitions, crossfade, and then click and drag the constant power effect, dropping it onto the cuts between the audio tracks. And now when I play through these, you'll notice how the audio blends a little nicer, it sounds more professional. Next up, the J cut. A J cut is where you let the audio from a succeeding shot, so this right hand side here, play a little bit under the preceding shot on the left here. So basically the audio from Kathmandu starts playing under the shot of the Himalayas before we actually cut to the city. And you can see it kind of creates a kind of J shape on the timeline, which is what gave it this name. And again, it's, it's super easy to do. So all you have to do is hit N on the keyboard to select the rolling edit tool, then hold Alt for Windows or Opt for Mac, click and drag the video track of the preceding shot on the left, and make sure it kind of runs a little over the succeeding shot on the right to a point that you're happy with. So you'll now see how the audio from the succeeding shot now starts a little sooner under your preceding shot. And to finish up, just add a constant power crossfade, make sure the audio kind of blends nicely. For an L cut, you're basically doing the opposite, right? So this kind of creates an L shape like this. And the audio from the preceding shot now runs a little further under the succeeding shot, like this. To do this, same again, hit N on the keyboards for the rolling edit tool, hold Alt for Windows or Opt for Mac, and then click and drag the video track of the succeeding shot on the right, and make sure it runs a little over the preceding shot on the left, and find the point you're happy with. So you'll now see that the audio from the preceding shot is running underneath the succeeding shot. You can add the constant power crossfade and it's done. Nice and easy.